There was a very good reason for that. He was called Chester Kyle. Paul McCready, Chester Kyle started the human powered vehicle racing. And he just told me, we've just managed to get through 90 miles an hour on human power. And I thought, you must have said 90 kilometers an hour, which you might have too, because your brain's getting old. But a human can actually go up, up near, well, if, if it's 90 kilometers an hour, well, it's nearly 60 miles per hour. And that's magic. Now, the sun, of course, puts a lot more power into what we do than the human power. We're, we're good for about 100 watts. And any, any three-wheel bicycle can easily have 250 watts. A solar car today has about 1,500 watts. My first car had 800 watts because we were 11% efficiency. And the gentleman before talking about solar power, we're about 20% efficiency these days. And you're not going to put the race car super efficient solar panels on there, and you're certainly not going to be using space solar panels because they are so expensive for very little more power. So your rail system will be around the 20 to 25 percent. But we, as I said, I crossed Australia. They said, "What a piece of shit to the car." And of course it was. It was basically a bicycle type contraption with a bit of wrapping around it for aerodynamics and a roof of solar panels. So of course I said, why don't you all come to Australia and race? And so many universities have raced in the World Solar Challenge. And it's a Dutch university who holds the record of over 100 kilometers an hour on just sunshine, taking a person from Darwin to Adelaide 3,000 kilometers. And I think that'll do. That's fine. That's, I've achieved what I wanted to achieve, to simply say, for as long as the sun shines, the humans, through smart people like you, will create contraptions for transport. And of course, in the mass transportation and semi-mass, and I think this lightweight type construction has a great future. And I was just sitting, listening to you, and I thought, well, because my train just stopped at the airport, and I heard there's another little train to the airport. And I thought, now, this won't work because that's mass transport. But even through your presentation, I thought, well, of course it will, because there's a pod going to United and there's a pod going to somewhere else. So there's pods going to different airlines. And instead of mass transportation taking you to way away where you've got to walk for miles to get to the check-in counter, the pods will. So there is an advantage in pods which initially I thought, no, that wouldn't work. So, and you guys have already showed me, and um, Mrs. Swanson has already checked, pay, what was it, face pay, has already been registered in China. But then you need to add a finger anyway to do a receipt. But you've got ideas, and thank you for new ideas, brainstorming, and please don't ever let ego get in the way. We do too many things where we want uh, reinvent the wheel. And the reason for the Japanese success is basically they don't copy as we all think they do. No. They take the best and they make it better. So never be ashamed of reinventing anything or making something better.